Hello, YouTube community, YouTubers. How's it going? Local John 812. J Rod 84. Back again, guys. Uh, very good game today. Start off slow. Got the win. Yes. That would be uh, SEC title number 48. 48. And uh, the uh, number yes. five for Cal. Yes, yes. The fifth for Cal in eight years. And in eight years, third in the world. So. And also, I found this out earlier today. Cal. Calipari becomes the first ever coach in Division One history to win at least five com regular season conference titles with three different schools. He did it at UMass. He did it at Memphis. Now he's done it at Kentucky. And you people seriously still don't want to give him any credit? Well, they'll they'll throw back, uh, you know, allegations against him. Give me a and, break. But it, the thing about it is, all those allegations, the schools. Had the penalties put on them, he never suffered any suspensions or fines himself, and his name was never put in any reports that he should be penalized, like a Larry Brown in a situation who was penalized, yeah. or a Calvin Sampson who actually was penalized. And yeah. the reason why those guys were penalized and Calipari was not is because they could never completely find any wrongdoing on John Calipari's. Uh, you know, on his behalf. So, right. that's so. why, so when people say, well, he done this at UMass and this and the other schools. Yes. If yeah. he would have done something completely wrong and they would have really been on him and the school, mm -hmm. they would have penalized the school and him. Of they course. did not do it because they could not figure it out. Yes. I understand. On that. him. Yes. Because he didn't do anything. Yeah. But, those allegations, you know, happened like 10, 15, 20 years ago. Leave it alone. They just need to leave that alone. Right. Um, I just say flat out, the man can coach. And also, too, since the Tennessee game, same shirt. It hasn't been washed. It's only <laughs> it's only gets put on during game. Uh, when the game, before the game starts, it gets put on. Or I wear it, like, the whole day before the game or whatever. But it has not been washed. And it's the same exact shirt since Valentine's Day. So that would be eight games in a row. Yes. This shirt is responsible for eight wins. I just... I just He's, he's superstitious like that. <laughs> and uh, we're going to see how long I can go and how long. Well, and it's not how long I can go. It's how long the Cats can go. Now, first game they lose, they're out of their SC tournament. First game they lose, they would be out of the NCAA tournament. I mean, one loss puts them done for the year. So, and it would put the shirt done. If they went out, this team, this shirt's going to get framed. Put in a picture frame. It retired. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens. Yes. I just, yes, I'm going to say, well, I'm going to say March Madness is quickly upon it. I'm going to say this is the last weekend of the regular season. I'm going to say, you know, Selection Sunday, believe it or not, is a week from tomorrow. Is um, And a lot of teams have their conference tournaments uh, starting Wednesday. Yes, yes they, yes, they begin next week. A lot of the smaller conferences, have, you know, have their tournaments going on. Actually, Well, actually, this weekend, a lot of the smaller conferences will be handing out bids. Uh, let's see, I believe it, the Ivy League handed out its bid, and I believe that's Princeton. The Ohio Valley hands out its championship bid tonight. Did the Aces get knocked out? Yes, they did. They lost in the quarterfinals yesterday in the Missouri Valley. So they're not going. No. They had to win that conference championship. Yes, game. yes, pretty much. Uh, what was their record? What did they finish with? Uh, shoot, I can't remember. They they made, I don't know if they'll get any. Maybe they get to that one. I don't, I don't know. They'll... I don't know. They got so many postseason tournaments, you know. They yeah. made up, so they'll probably get in the highway in. pothole tournament. I, 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 they'll probably get it. They'll get an invite somewhere, probably. The Salvation Army Soup Kitchen so, tournament. Stop. <laughs> it was, it was his names. I come up with some. I think they would be good, legitimate good tournaments. Uh, so now we we look to uh, conference tournaments come up selection. And I've said this before a while back on one of our other, I think our first video we did. Um, they have a shot to get still get a one. They have to win out. And someone like North Carolina, think I think Duke can beat North Carolina today. And then I think North Carolina will not win the ACC championship. And I think that's going to hurt them as well. And I think Kentucky could move into a one. I just, as I'm going to say, it's, it's a great possibility. I mean, I know it's just, I'm okay, like it's the fourth, I'm going to say, but like I say, you know, the madness is, madness is pretty much begun. As, say, as we know, Selection Sunday is up next Sunday, and there's a lot of basketball to be played between now and then. A lot. Anything can 
and will happen, as I already said before. It is possible for anything to happen. Uh, yes. IU got a, uh, I would say, a much-needed win, because how many games they lose in a row before they get that win? With, they, like, five? They had lost eight of t- eight of their last eight, ten. Eight of the last ten. So they, they had to win today. But it's still, we were talking about this. I don't want to see them in a tournament, and not because I'm afraid to play them, because they always get, they either get blown out or lose by ten, or they find a way to win by a shot or, or three or four points against a team like Kentucky or North Carolina or Dukes. You know, they're not better in those teams, but they find a way to be better that day sometimes. And I hate that because their fans are obnoxious and they think that's so great. Oh, we beat you by four points. We're the best team in, in the history. You know, so you have to deal with that crap. Uh, they won today, but I still think they have to win. I think they have to make it all the way to the Big Ten championship, and that would still. Maybe not put them in, and then they may have to win the conference tournament. I think if they make it to the Big Ten that, Championship. That was pretty much my bottom line. They, Without question, they have to win the conference tournament, and they'll probably have to play on the opening day of the tournament, which is Wednesday. Is I it, think if they make it to the Washington. Big Ten final and don't get blown out, let's say they lose only by a point or two, I think they're in the tournament then. Because that would be how many wins. I mean, you're talking about. Well, let's see. Like, like I said, the tournament starts Wednesday, and I – I'm thinking how the Big Ten bracket works. Do they play uh, four rounds? Would they have to play four rounds to win the champ? Four games? They'll probably either have to play four or five games in five days. So you're looking days. at twenty-one. That could put them at twenty-one and twenty-two wins, depending on what it is. If it's yeah. four games, yes, it's twenty-one. So they'll probably have to do something like a Kemba Walker Connecticut esque run. It, I think if they made it to the conference championship game and had like twenty or twenty-one wins and then lost. But they only lose by a few points. I think the committee would put them in. Um, but if they want, obviously, if they win the conference tournament there. But here's what will happen. They may win their first game, but they'll probably lose their second. And I don't think basically going down the stretch and winning two out of three is not going to get you in with a 17-14 and 14 record, which then would put you at 18-15, and 15, you know, if you lose. Mm, so that's not going to put them in. Uh, listen, I'm not sure. And def with them being in a power six conference like the Big Ten, which has been a little, which has been a, a little bit down this this season as opposed to recent seasons. Mm, prob- probably no, not. Probably not. You remember the year that Noel got hurt for us? How many losses did we have that year? Uh, well, well, act- well, coming into. I believe it was 11. Entering the postseason, I believe it was 11. And then we lost Another, one. Yeah, they lost. They just looked out, out of sorts in the SEC tournament against Fandy. Then it was sent to the NIT. You know, the but, embarrassing loss to Robert Ford. But what I'm saying the is game. the committee seen a 12-loss team without one of their best players and kept them out. I use in that same situation. They're, but instead of 12 losses, they're already a 14-loss team. Without without one of their better players, their probably best player. I, well, Thomas Bryant might be better uh, overall, but uh, you know, what's the name? Anna. OG Ananobi. OG. So without him, so the committee's looking at that. So if they had him still playing and he was available, I think it's a different story, but it's the same scenario. And a lot of people are going to say, well, no, because Kentucky didn't beat no one like North Carolina and Kansas that year. Uh, like IU has, those two wins can only take you guys so far. I mean, your other bad losses are outweighing those two wins now. And those two wins are down out the door. I mean, if your mo- majority of your losses have been against like a bunch of ranked teams or something and you only had like one bad loss, that would be okay. But you have a couple more than one bad loss. Uh, so, I just well, think happen. Yeah, well, I, well, a lot of their losses are too... Bubble teams, and to see you know that will, you know that that can make the tournament. Northwestern beat them once, yes, uh, once. kind of a bubble team, and almost beat them twice. And also, uh, Fort Wayne, it's not going to get in. There's another bad loss, you know. Yeah, I mean those teams are well, RPI rankings and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, Joe's on there talking. I wonder what Joe's saying. We got to turn down, but. Yeah, I just I just say well I, well we can probably go by you know by the power six conference by the power six conferences to see who's all going to be in I just say who we feel that would be in 
I just said, well, the, the, AC, well, the ACC, right now, looking at the ACC, I'd see seven. With eight or nine, possibly. I mean, the ACC, they have seven teams ranked in the top 25, and most of those are going to and more than like all seven of those ranked teams are going to get in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'd say maybe nine, nine from the ACC at maximum, possibly. Big East, maybe six. And I don't. And what do you, what do you think about a situation for some of these coaches may end up getting fired uh, after this season? And we, I, you know, obviously Tom Crean, he could be gone. Seasons are winding down. These are other questions we got, you know, that we're, we're thinking about because people are going to start losing jobs. Rick Pitino, I don't think Louisville will ever get rid of him, but the sanctions have not came out on Louisville people. Just because Louisville put themselves on self-proposed sanction and all that kind of stuff, it's not over with. Then don't think it is. A lot of people say, oh, they're not going to face no more. The case is not shut on that one or, or the North Carolina case. So this stuff is still under investigation. It's going to happen, but you have to see it from the standpoint of the NCAA and college basketball. If you like, especially with a year this year, if you took North Carolina out of the thing and you took Louisville out, how bad would the tournament look? Because the teams are not doing that great this year. There's no runaway two or three good teams. There's no strong giants. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm gonna say there's there's a hand there's a handful. I don't see, you know, that could that can win it all. A handful. I don't see, I know there are probably a couple. I know some of the analysts on the ESPN said, you know, that there's maybe like a select few, but no, I, I said, no, to me, there's a handful that could win. I think the top, anybody in the top 10 can win the dang NCAA tournament. Maybe anybody in the top 15 teams probably can win the NCAA tournament. I think there's 15 different teams that can win it this year, just, just based on matchups. And the way maybe this, the uh, selection uh, goes and who you play, uh, obviously matchup situation, and who's hot at that, that point in time in the game, um, I think it could win. Right. That, I said, right in. Right. Anybody can. Anybody can. Anybody. Um, so, overall, slow start. we we'll come away with a win. Pretty darn good. Uh, other other things that are on, uh, uh, you got um, you do have some golf tournaments coming up. You got the uh, NASCAR will be back on, I think tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, I see. Of course, you got the M- the NBA and NBA full still, swing. Yeah, and the injury with Durant, and see how Golden State handles that. Yeah, and of course you got the Hugh walking triple double and Russell Westbrook. Yep, and you're seeing how the uh, two brothers from Kentucky are hanging together now and. Anthony and Demarcus, yeah, but un- well, unfortunately, they've been zero and four since co- they're si- scoring good together. It's just the other I teammates just, are not I coming. I mean, you know, they say this. Honestly, they're scoring and they're crashing the boards like crazy. Right, and you still got a uh, college baseball's underway. Spring training for Major League Baseball, so it's starting to really pick up. And then, of course, the tournament's coming around the corner. So this is really picking up time for sports, and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It's going to be interesting. I am too. <laughs> so. Uh, well, this I think that's it for this one, guys. We're up to about 14 minutes. I think that's long enough. Maybe you guys will tune in for that whole time. We'd appreciate it if you do. Yes. Yes, I'm going to say we'll prob- probably, um, next, su- probably next weekend, maybe Sunday or next Monday possibly. I'm going to say we'll probably go into a little bit of a longer podcast, you know, to, you know analyze everything about the yeah. NCAA tournament, all that said, all the picks and the and said all and said all of our picks, all you know, all of our discussion about the teams, who's going, who's playing, who, where, and picked, you know, go to the final four, et cetera, et cetera. Right. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys want to get at us on uh, Twitter, I'm at John G UK. I'm at Gerard Baker one. And so if you want to do that, and of course you know our channel here, uh, when we share it out, you guys can subscribe, and then we'll uh, be posting more videos like this and. Uh, we hope you see you guys hit that like button, subscribe button, comment, and we'll we'll catch you again. Alrighty. Later guys.
Later.